you've got a website and now you need it to be published. These are the things that you need to be aware of probably before you even start getting it built. And that is for a website to be live online year after year, you need two things, a domain name and hosting. Hi, I'm Craig from Foxy Web Design and uh, I run a web design business that provides uh, hosting. I can organize domain name registration as well. Um, but really, this, uh, this is a, a tutorial video to help uh, my existing clients and anyone else out there just to understand these two main concepts and why also it's really important to keep these services separate rather than buying them all in one. All right. Now, as I say, I run a, a hosting business, but I don't, whenever I do um, a website for someone and um, host it, I always advise them the same thing, and that's to keep the domain name and the hosting separate. Now, why do I advise this? Well, I've seen this time and time again as a designer. I've seen other designers that have registered a domain name on behalf of the client and do their hosting, and then because of one problem or another, things have gone a bit haywire, and that designer, if they've got control over both these things, they can actually hold the uh, client to ransom and um, blackmail them um, and not hand over their business name. I've got one particular client who's never been able to get his domain name back and he's got all of the signage on his truck and everything and he just doesn't have any control over his website, which is awful. So let's just talk about this a little bit more. First of all, what is a domain name? A domain name is like we see up here for Google is google.com. Now Google have chosen to call themselves www.google.com. Their domain name is actually just google.com. www. Um, without getting into too much of it is a little bit, in a way it's old fashioned. Um, and this HTTPS, well there's two different types of um, what's called um, uh, protocols and that's HTTP and HTTPS. HTTPS is actually superior and to get that um, that green padlock symbol that you often see on a website uh, that means additionally on your hosting you need to apply what's called an SSL certificate. Uh, again all Foxy's hosting accounts come with an SSL certificate so all Foxy's um, hosting is already enabled for HTTPS. But anyway, let's get back to domain names. Whenever a new client comes to me and they say they want a website, I always explain to them um, this very, very simple thing, and that is keep the domain name and your hosting separate. So i.e., if you're coming to me or anyone to get the hosting, it's not a good idea to also register your domain name there. The reason why is because the domain name is the actual top level of control for a website. When you have um, a domain name registered um, with any number of domain name registry accounts, uh, services I mean, um, that is the top level control that will point to any hosting service. Uh, le let me show you what I mean. So, first of all, let's talk about some of my favorite um, name re registries. I'm quite fond of Namecheap. Um, they've always provided a reliable service, and I find Namecheap are fantastic for .com names. So if you are looking for fix my doggo mate .com, and I've put in something silly like that because I can guarantee it will be available. Uh, we go looking for it, and Yes, fixmydogomate.com is um, available. They're going to charge um, in um, um, Australian um, $12.34 a year, and we can add that to the cart. And once we've added to the cart and gone through checkout and paid for it, um, then we, we could own this domain name, right? And of course, this is the same with all the domain name um, registration services. They'll they'll give you some options like fixmydoggomate.dog.net.ai.net.net.net.net.net.net.net.net.net.net.net.net.net.net.net.net.net.net.net.net.net.net.net.net.net.net.net.net.net.net.net.net.net.net.net.net.net.net.net.net.net.net
.club. There's there's hundreds of them. Um, I have a particular preference for .com, and also one other one because I'm here in Australia. A lot of the clients um, benefit from having .com.au, so people can quickly uh, recognise that yes, this is an Australian business. If you're looking for a .com.au, uh, I would actually suggest a different um, re registry service. One of them that I think is pretty good is Net Registry. So let's go to Net Registry now. Oh, there's Crazy Domains. I wouldn't touch them with a hundred foot pole. Um, I've had such bad experiences with them, it's crazy. And that would be a whole another video. In fact, I'm planning to do another video on just how pathetic their hosting is. Um, but anyway, that's another story. So, um, if we look for um, a website on Net Registry, um, and we look for the .com.au, we can see uh, that this one is available for $15 a year, and we can add it. Look, I'll, note, I'll point out some other things that they're doing over here. They're a little bit sneaky. They've added a couple of things over here that I don't want. They've also added to my checkout helpmydogomate.net.au. Well, actually, I don't want that domain name. I do not want um, .net.au. I simply want, um, so domain name registration fee, d domain registration fee. Right, so two years, two years is $30. Domain registration fee, domain registration fee. So there's, oh, they've added .com as well. Look at that. Jeez, they get sneakier by the day. Okay, I still like using them. Um, it's a reliable service and it's um, fairly um, affordable. Uh, $30 AU for two years is, is not too bad. Um, but there's other ones as well. Let's talk about some of the other ones I like. Okay, so you've probably all heard of GoDaddy. Um, they're quite well known for being um, a budget company um, for budget um, domain name and hosting. Um, their domain name service is pretty good. I, I, I've got a, I've got an account with um, with some names with them. Um, additionally, Hostpapa is quite good. Um, again, Hostpapa is quite good. Uh, notice that there's a hostpapa.com.au. Um, hostpapa.com.au. Um, I also find a reliable service for registering domains. All right. Now, look, at the end of the day, um, it doesn't matter that much who you register your domain name with as long as they're a reputable company. Um, and, yeah, so m my number one advice is basically stay away from crazy domains. Um, if we look up domain name registration, for instance, we will find a, a, a number of different um, companies that uh, offer that. Um, Melbourne IT are good, but I do find them a little bit expensive. So basically, what you've got to remember, when you've got a domain name registered, you've just got to keep up that, um, you've just got to keep up that domain name registration. So if you've paid for two years, you'll need to pay for it again in um, two years. If you stop paying for it, you'll lose, you'll lose that name. Um, I was looking for something else, but as, as long as we're here, I may as well show you. Uh, look, some clients come to me and they say, look, Craig, it's all too complicated. I don't want to register my domain name. Can you please do it for me? In those situations, yes, I do it. I did it for this client here because they're just so busy and they We've worked together for years and they trust me and so they trust me to uh, register their domain name and they trust me to, um, to provide their hosting. But, like I say, I always recommend them um, at the beginning that there, there is a, a, a more reliable way to protect your, your brand and that is to register the domain name yourself. Um, so, I'm always here to help you, um, to, to help choose a right, uh, correct name, because that's another video in itself, like thinking of the best domain name that you can think of. Um, you can call me. You can contact me here on this form. We can have a chat. You know, I'll even do a free consultation for you and make a free personalized video just for you 
to go over some of the basics if you're interested in trying out my um, hosting um, and support and also my my design. Now, I do have a different business um, website for um, design which shows my portfolio a little bit better um, and all my social links down here. But look, this is really about hosting and domain names. Um, Hopefully that was helpful for you. Um, you can pretty much stop here, and that was my um, that was my talk about the two things that you need uh, to keep your website live: domain name and hosting, and why it's a good idea to keep both of them separated. Se separate. Um, but if you want to dig in just a little bit deeper, uh, I'll give you a little preview of um, of of really searching for a domain name and then what it looks like when it's registered. So um, I'm just going to use, this is my password wallet. This has got um, all my passwords to all the different websites, um, which make, which is a really good idea when you're managing a website to have a password wallet because you don't want to have to remember too many passwords. And not only that, you don't want to ever use the same password for two different accounts. That's very bad security. So I'm even. I don't want people to see um, even how many characters are in my username and password. So I'm just going to log in off screen, and the thing is as well. I've got a. I'll just show you as well to really protect. Whoops. Yeah, to really protect this, well, you know my phone number anyway because I've told you, but I've just been um, emailed a verification code because um, I do this on the websites as well. Um, hackers, as you know, they always want to steal your private information. They want to take over your website so they can use it as a zombie website to send out spam or any other sort of uh, criminal behavior. And so to avoid that, I really recommend uh, two-factor authentication. So you log in with a name and password, and then you get another code uh, that only lasts like 10 or 15 minutes um, actually sent to your SMS. And that, um, that really helps uh, keep the hackers out um, because then, yeah, they might say, for instance, they somehow guess or steal your password. It becomes a whole new level of uh, difficulty for them to then work out what your um, authentication code is. All right, um, you can never be too safe on the internet. So um, yeah, here's some um, some domain names that that I manage. Um, and um, if you go into here, you can see the expiration date for them. You'll also, you should have it set up to have email sent to you for when it expires because then you'll need to come back here and renew um, the service. And basically, um, to point to me, um, you just need to manage the um, what's called the DNS and that will uh, actually point to, um, to my hosting service. So if you set up a domain name, um, with a different service, like like for instance Namecheap, all you need to do is add the custom DNS um, for my service, and that will get you in there um, and hosted on on my um, hosting service and live. And you can see if we go here, this is on my value plan hosting. I'm just going to refresh the page to see how quickly this loads. Very quick. That was under two seconds, and that's the value plan hosting. Um, I've also got a higher level of hosting, um, which is uh, the business class hosting, and that's um, very, very, very fast. Um, I could show you different examples of hosting I do on that. Um, for instance, I'll sh here's one of them that's on my very, very fast hosting, Sydney Lounge Specialist. And I've got to say, you saw that load in under two seconds. This is a massive, massive website. It's absolutely huge. Um, and it's loading in under two seconds. So that just shows the, the speed of, um, of our hosting, um, what's called our hosting servers, are very, very fast. And so if you want better SEO um, and better rankings on Google, having a fast website is a, is a good way to achieve that, one of, one of the good ways to achieve that. And um, so again, I'll, I'll point you over there. Um, so hopefully 
Uh, this video has explained why it's a good idea to keep your domain name and your hosting separate because um, as we can see here from this particular um, uh, domain management account that I can in fact, um, when, I, when I've got a domain name registered, I can in fact point it to any hosting service. So if you have control of your uh, domain name account, you can manage it and you can point it to any of the different hosting services out there. I, I am just one of many. Um, so um, hopefully that teaches you um, why it's good to re retain control of your domain name. The reason is you don't want um, someone else to hijack your brand, your company, blackmail you. Um, say you had a dispute and you thought that their design was crap, but they want to get paid before the job's even finished or something horrible like that. They could in fact blackmail you and hold you to ransom if they own your domain name. Secondly, once you have control over the domain name, you can point it to any host. And so this is why I like to offer hosting because I know that unless I do a fantastic job and provide great service, the person who owns their website, they can point it to a different host. And in fact, I always make that easy for them. In fact, that is going to be the next video that I do about um, migrating from one hosting company to another. I, I know I've set, already mentioned crazy domains, but I'm going to talk about it again. A client's having a horrible experience at the moment. They've had all sorts of problems with them. They want to migrate away to a different company, but the thing is they can't even back up their emails um, from, from the crazy domains control panel or dashboard. Um, they've asked Crazy Domains, is it possible? And Crazy Domains said, yes, it's possible. But then they pointed to other third-party services to, to, to do it. In other words, go into Gmail and back up your email from Gmail um, one account at a time, um, which is terrible. Um, on my hosting, um, you simply have one button to back up everything. It backs up the entire website and all the email accounts. And it turns it into one downloadable file, which you can take to any hosting company. And um, I make full um, uh, tools and tutorials available so you can really easily understand how you, how you can back up and migrate your website and all the emails at a touch of a button. And that is something that Crazy Domains doesn't do because, it, put quite simply, they want to make it as hard as possible for you to leave their hosting service. All right. Um, I'm sure there's other dodgy suppliers out there, um, but that's the particular one I have a gripe with because of historical um, it, um, interactions I've had using their services in the past. All right, so that's the end of my little tutorial. Hope that was helpful. Please leave a comment. Please follow our channel if this was helpful. And um, I'll be providing a lot more um, videos to help uh, explain how to manage your um, online business. And um, thanks for subscribing and liking and ask any questions in the comments and I will make more videos for you to explain every aspect of your online business.